Hello, my name is David Gear. I'm a Senior Technical Specialist with ATG USA. I want to share with you today the new split and place schedules between sheets. So our current workflow process in place is to create separate schedules and filter them by level to cover over 241 doors across four sheets. Suppose I look at one of our schedules here You will see that I've got a filter in here that says filter by level equals to that level. Now I'm going to remove that level filter and hit OK. Now I'm going to go into my sheet and delete my schedules. And I'm going to go into the project browser and delete the remaining schedules out of the list. I'm going to go back into my schedule. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and change the name. And now I get the split in place button. If I click on it, you can see it launched the split in place dialog box. I can now select the sheets I want to split the schedule across. I have two options. I can split the schedule evenly or I can say custom and give it a length. I'm going to choose the custom for now and say one foot eight and hit split in place. I'm now going to place that on my paper and go check my other sheets and see that it placed. I'm now noticing that the schedule still doesn't fit on the sheet. So therefore, I can come back in, select it, and hit split schedule. The only problem with this is, is it still doesn't fit. I could sit here and adjust columns. However, if I adjust one column, it adjusts it through the other schedules, which is not what I want. You would think if I clicked on the schedules, that I would get the split in place button to adjust. I do not. In order to do this, I must come back into the door schedule, plus it out, and remove the de copied views like duplicate as dependents. Once I remove those, I can now come back and check, see my schedules are not there, and then now I get the split in place again. I get the go ahead and click on that dialog box comes up and select my different sheets. This time I'm going to select the four sheets. I'm going to say space evenly. Once I have them spaced evenly, I'm going to go ahead and place it on my sheet here. Check my other views here. And I notice there's a gap. I'm going to go ahead and click on the grip node and click hold and drag so that I can adjust this and maximize my schedules on the given sheets. Leaving me with the remainder on the four sheet. Well, I hope this new feature of Revit 2022 schedules has shown you workflows and time savings. Now have a great ATG day.